State fans, the ones making the noise as Virginia fans can only watch. As the Cavaliers drop just their fourth game of the season in Virginia with a loss. We'll see its season come to a close here in the round of 32. The ebbs and flows of a season can be cruel. A historically great campaign can be washed away by one bad outing, a lapse when there is no margin for error. But the sun always rises again in athletics. And memories of opportunities missed can provide the fuel for the long days of preparation before a new chapter is written. I always look back to past experiences. We had great success. We also had some tough losses. We played Michigan State two years in a row in the NCAA tournament, and they got us both years. Great teams. Coach Izzo's a great coach. We got to the Sweet 16 one year, second round, learning from those experiences and trying to become better from that. And one of our pillars of thankfulness I talk about is be thankful for what you learn through adversity. So those times where we've had some adversity, how can we apply those, learn from them, and be better the next year? And then, you know, not carry the baggage of it. We want to improve. Improvement was the goal as the veteran laden Cavaliers took the floor at JPJ at 6.30 a.m. on Friday for their first official practice of the season. All right, fellas, we'll have Coach Curtis get you loose. We're not, let's be sharp. Okay, okay. Let's go. Hand in three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Offensive rebound, finish it, but do crash. Don't kind of stay in. I want to get you in that habit early. But this is about our defense. Again, being in gaps, not getting underneath the blue line unless the ball's there. Really straight gaps, being a good keep out of lane. Offense, touch the paint, and then you got a shot after that, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. Right. This is our pillar of unity, all right? This is it right here together. It's not, we're not getting fractured. A house divided won't stand. Our house won't get divided defensively. The ball, us against it. It's not one guy to out. That's the mindset you have. This is unity playing out. Here we go. While the core of the team remains intact, there will be several new faces on the floor and on the sidelines for the Cavaliers this season. After five seasons with his original staff intact, Tony Bennett turned to an old friend to fill the void left by New Liberty head coach, Richie McKay. When you have success, a lot of our coaches have been targeted by their schools to come and coach, and many times they've said no because they so want to be a part of this, but there's going to be a natural progression where guys move on. Um, we're fortunate to have Coach Soderberg. I've known him for 30 years, which is amazing. He's been a head coach at the highest level in the Big Ten and was successful. And then he was in, at the time, it was Conference USA with probably two or three Hall of Fame coaches, Huggins, Patino, Calipari, Tom Crean. It was, it was a great league. He was the head coach of St. Louis. He's had success. He's been an assistant. He understands this program and is so hungry to be here. I've known Tony forever. Uh, his dad was my college coach and I graduated in 1985 so uh, you know I've known Tony as the kind of the coach's kid that was always hanging out on the sidelines ever since then. I feel like my second family is the Bennett's. I mean I I've said this probably a hundred times during my career but Tony's dad has had as much influence on as anybody other than my own parents on my life. Tony called me said uh, you know, Richie just left for Liberty, would you consider it? And I said, I said, Tony, you know me. I said, if, if you think I can contribute to the success you've had, I'm in. One of the sharper basketball minds I've been around, the guy who's been through the wars, uh, that's invaluable. And that's what Coach McKay gave us in replacing Coach McKay. Now to have a guy with that kind of experience and that kind of familiarity with us is significant. With a veteran team, the Cavaliers will face a challenging schedule designed to best prepare the squad for postseason success. 
Our schedule may be one of the top, maybe number one. It'll be a top five non-conference strength of schedule. Of course, with the ACC schedule, it's elite. Because we have experience, I wanted to challenge our guys right out of the blocks in ways that most programs perhaps wouldn't go in that direction. We've decided to go that way. Play the best, test yourself, learn, and so you keep getting better as you get into conference play and then hopefully beyond. This is a different year than last year. You fight hard to get into these spots where perhaps you can grab something special and that's what we're gearing towards. At the season's start, the coaching staff is focused on maintaining the fundamentals, the building blocks for the success of the Cavalier program. I know we're doing offense, but step it up. We're a defensive unit.